back with the grand finals they've already hopped into it so let's get in royce at the top alex at the bottom game number one of the grand finals looks like we got naru kami for alex and let's see what he's up against looking like aqua force Hey, what's going on, Nito Blast? How are you doing tonight? Made it just in time for the grand final. Circuit number 25. 25 weeks of tournament action, top tier Vanguard battles. Memes, dreams, laughs, cries, miracle heals, prizing support. 25 weeks is a long time. Just saw this matchup. Although Alex was on a different Aqua Forge build, but nonetheless finished the game with glory. So gotta think that that is what Royce is gonna attempt to do. Is gonna try to finish the game with a glory. So does Alex game plan for that, or does he just go all in and try to finish things quickly before it even gets to glory? As he gets pushed to three here. Vowing sword on the right. Setting up for the break. Would have more than likely wanted the SP Vowing Sword, but you know what a Vowing Sword is a Vowing Sword. Commits the gray ones with the boost to the rear guards and is swinging. Going to try to push Royce to three damage here. Could even get a Lynchu off and take out the rear guard. If he so chose, may hold on to it later on down the road for maybe, uh, I don't know, a Basil or a Diamantes. But also, just take out the rear guard is also a good hit. Because who's to say your opponent wouldn't get a Maelstrom and self damage and retire your Lynch you. Forced to ride Diamantes. That's not what you want to see. It's not what you want to see. Looking real, uh, real rough here for Royce. He is able to self damage, but doesn't mean anything right here. Other than passively denying a heal, cause the hollow live. I'm gonna need some luck with the triggers. No luck with the triggers. No damage trigger there, so we'll be able to push for five here. Still no damage triggers, but. Break ride is all set up. Royce is only on three damage and does have an inter intercept on board. But although he has won, anything that break rides over that Valensaur will wipe out that intercept. And we could be looking at a three to lethal if that last card in Royce's hand is not a PG. Royce says he's feeling good. There is access to two counter blasts. Will also Phoenix and draw. Will access to more than two counter blasts. Access to four. Comes out with the Wyvern. Will we see a retire? We don't see one from the Wyvern, but we do see one from Gauntlet. So at the least, can push to five here. Oh, uh, he's just, he's cleaning the board. He's just wiping board. He recognizes his opponent is hurting right now. He's just gonna wipe the board. He's 
gonna push him to five. That's a PG gone. Again, in the hand, it's gotta be a PG, although it doesn't really, uh... Even if he survives the turn, he's gonna be hurting. That's a heal for Alex. So it was a PG, he will survive the turn, but he's only gonna have one card in hand. And he's on Diamantes as Vanguard. Uh, yeah, it's not uh, not looking too hot. Not looking too hot. No board at all. And has to put the glory on the rear guard just to make it over the intercepts. And so this is what we mean by if you can pull off glory over Transcore, then the build is amazing. But it lacks consistency. As we see evident in this game right here. You're not always going to high roll. You're not always going to sack. And it, it doesn't really have another win condition. Not really. So he's going to move both rear guards up. And he's going to go for this. No miracle heal. So that is Alex. Taking game number one. One game away from being a circuit champ. I think this will be the very first time he has won the circuit. Actually, regardless of who wins, we will have a brand new circuit champion. Someone who has never won it before. I believe Alex will now be switching to his Turbo Revon Aquaforce build. So we might see... And Aqua Force Mirror Mac, although Royce does have the option to switch decks since he did lose. Let's get into the next game here. Looks like he did switch to Spike Brothers. Not wanting to do the mirror match just yet. Could be a good choice for him. Spike Brothers kind of say, if you want to rush me, I'll rush you too. Going to early push with a couple of express. Looks like he will be able to do so. So they able to put two on him. Looks like Royce is going to be rushing himself as well. Alex will be rushing as well. So it's whoever rushes the best wins. Got the Basile on deck. Uh, looking to make plays here. Looking to do some damage. While taking out the Express in the front row. While still putting two damage up. Actually, kind of could go for three if he believed that he would get a trigger. Would not have gotten one, so correct call. Pick out the express, put the two damage on. Good turn there by Alex. Things are all tied up, two to two. Going back over to Royce. See what his grade two is. Rise Black Panther as the Vanguard. What will he commit to board? And also with the wild hitter being there, always has a shot at getting a trigger. And being able to call a unit from the deck to the board with Wild Hitter's ability. As we see that he used the Mecha Trainer pretty early here. And is, is set up like he's going to get a trigger. Did not get one. That's why the Phantom is in the back like that. Would have been able to push as well for 4-4 uh, four, four damage here. Let's see what grade 3 Alex will go into. 
goes into the trans core. That could be dangerous if he finds a glory to go over that. He's going to keep adding that two damage per turn pressure with the Basile. Gonna take out the Douglas here. And go in. Royce may need an Emperor here. May need an Emperor here, otherwise things are gonna get really uh really scary. There goes a draw trigger. So we're gonna make it back to his turn with five cards in hand. And there goes the glory find. So we know that he can ride the glory. Over the trans core. Let's see what Vanguard Royce goes into. He does go into an Emperor SP nonetheless. So we'll be able to use his limit break ability. Counter Blast 2. Soul charge a card from the hand. And go into two units. Any two units from your deck. chooses not to go in with the Emperor onto the Transcore will find a heal would have been going really really plus if he chose to do so wild hitter though can still activate chooses not to and chooses not to do any damage is going to damage starve him So choosing to damage starve him and essentially stack his resources. Uh, Spy Brothers is better the more resources you have. But Alex still gonna continue doing the two damage a turn here. So we'll push him back to four. Takes out the Devil Summoner. And Transcore will swing. Just needs one trigger to pass here. Finds it off the rip. Draw trigger with the first drive check. We'll be able to push him to five, barring a heal trigger. No heal trigger, but they find a draw trigger. Cause the bad end to the rear guard is going to just go in like that and I think potentially the oh no not gonna deprive again gonna go in with with the Emperor we'll be able to call two to empty spaces soul charges a PG Possible he could have had all four PGs in hand to soul charge a PG right there. Did call the Devil Summoner. Was really hoping to go into another intercept. Not able to do so. But with Wild Hitter's ability, he will be able to activate it and call an intercept. Chose not to activate the wild hitter. So Alex sitting at four. We know he's got the glory in hand. Will not ride it. Will instead ride. Uh, hitter needed to open uh, rear guard space. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. We'll go in with Revan. Revan will be able to put a crit on. As well as a Basile ability activation here. 
will force out one PG. We already seen him soul charge another. So it's going to be two PGs down. Possible two if my, my guess was correct. He does have two more PGs in hand. We'll take out the double summoner. Not going to be able to do much with the other rear guard basil unless he's able to get a forces out the bad end finds a trigger as well we'll give it to the rear guard basil force out the other pg so that's all pgs down this will hit needs a miracle heal here to stay in finds it jelly beans coming in with the clutch save But without any, if he can't put up cards that can shuffle themselves back, may not be able to fully utilize the ability of the Emperor. That's the only way he will be able to find lethal here. There goes a Bracky, double Bracky. So we'll be able to get three swings onto the Vanguard, two of which will be swinging for lethal. It will take double PG in Alex's hand to survive this. The question is, does he have it? Does he have double PG? Oh, wait. Royce did not use the bracket. He left him on board. Can't. No hand. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to Emperor because no hand. That is right. That is right. That is right. Big rip? Uh, possibly. We know he has a glory in hand. <laughs> Doesn't even need it because we know the Revan puts on crits. Uh, still going to go with the glory ride, though. Peculiar enough. As well as Basil in the front row. So double intercept. He's going to go ahead and take out the, the Brackies. And he's going to more than likely activate the Glory ability. Put the crits on. Will activate Glory. Puts the crits on. First check, nothing. Second check, draw, trigger. Would need back to back jelly beans to remain in this game. Does not find it. That is Alex taking the match. 2 0, oh, and he is your circuit number 25 grand champion. GG's to both. Alex, go ahead and hit me up on Discord with your PayPal information, uh, and I will get you your prize ASAP. We have a brand new uh, circuit champion, so look forward to seeing his, especially with a new uh, build, Aqua Force build, Aqua Force build that we've never seen in circuit before, at least on stream. So we'll upload that deck list in the Den of Champions. Uh, otherwise, that's going to pretty much do it for this circuit. This circuit went kind of quickly. Thank you all for showing up. We are going to raid somebody, so stick around for the raid. And if you got to peace out after that, then peace out. But let's go ahead and get this.